Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Decking Around Deck Specs. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Peelers V3 playing cards <laughs> by Organic Playing Cards. <laughs> but before we jump into it, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And ring the bell. So the Peelers V3 are a limited print run of 1500 decks. They will be printed by USPCC on standard crushed stock. Let's check out the deck. So I absolutely love the gold metallic ink that they used on the tuck. I think it adds such a nice flair to the original peeler style tuck. That little gold spider also is just such a nice little touch. I think it might actually be one of my favorite parts of this deck. Obviously, you know, they have the Opacy branding on the bottom, relatively standard in the line of peelers, but it has that nostalgia factor now that you see on the uh, on the peelers decks. This Joker, and the amount of just metallic ink used throughout the entire deck is spectacular. You can see it on the backs here. It shimmers beautifully, especially in the fan, like just the way the light reflects off of it. It's an amazing use of that metallic gold ink. But the way they used it throughout the entire deck on the faces as well, I love it. You have a nice seven of hearts reveal there on the on the second Joker. Appeal reveal. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a relatively standard OPC style deck. Um, one of the things that I think was a little more creatively done in previous decks versus this one is you see a lot of uh, similar styled quartz usage of bananas here. So you have a sealed banana or an open banana or an eaten banana. While there's still that level of creativity that we expect from OPC, it just falls a little short. Whereas I think with the Carvers, there was just a lot more variation. You know, we were talking about it earlier, they could have done something like a, a banana sundae, would have been clever, things like that. But- or like a chocolate covered banana, or just like, just a little more like creativity uh, on the courts is what I was actually looking for. Yeah. To, um, you know, with the and I think it's one of the really cool things about the OPC decks. I have to say, the replacement of the red on the hearts and the diamonds for that gold metallic ink, though, also is just such an absolute spectacular touch. But yeah, I can't get over how good that fan looks, though, with the uh, gold metallic ink. Yeah, the metallic ink is is really dope. Um, I, I think, I, I think, I would have definitely, and like I was saying, um, you know, before, I think. Um, you know, switching out the red and the gold really works on this deck. Uh, you know, obviously OPC really uh, usually does that with their decks. You know, they change out those uh, those pip colors. Yeah. Um, you know, I usually like to stay with the traditional red and black, but I really dig how OPC usually uses those colors, um, you know, and, and here with the gold is just really, really nice. And I think, you know, it's interesting because obviously this is the Peelers V3, but it's also been dubbed the Private Reserve. That gold touch to it, just the gold in the tuck, the gold in the cards really perfectly hits that Private Reserve feel to it. OPC did an amazing job designing this. Like I said, though, I think the one area it fell flat was the uh, the creativity of the courts. You know, I think the, uh, especially with the carvers, like the... I think it was the Queen of Diamonds was holding like the bag of Sour Patch like watermelons. I think that was the best looking uh, court that I'd seen from them. I thought it was very creative. There were so many other avenues they could have taken with the banana here. We have your next banana model for you for the Peelers V4. But I think there were so many other alternatives they could have done for a banana versus open, closed, and bitten. So it would have been cool to see a little bit of that creativity come through. Otherwise, I think the gold use just makes this deck spectacular. The fanning on that gold is amazing. I can't wait to see a lot of the uh, the cardistry that's going to come out using this and the way the light catches it. Yeah, good yeah. stuff. So another home run from OPC here. Make sure to like the video, everybody, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I can't wait to see what they come up with for the half brick box. That'd be sick.